Welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hello, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. I'm sick of Samantha. Coming up and you so better, better get, get to this that. part. No, really? You don't even know the words? <laughs> it's by Pink. And you better get this party started. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I think. I don't know if those are the words. And I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> We're right? horrible. But another <laughs> artist massacred by Lisa and Sam. As only we can do. As only we can do. I wonder if they would prefer us not to sing or that they're just thankful that somebody's singing. I think they're just thankful maybe yeah. we're here. Right? That people are singing their yes. songs. Right? Okay. All, All right. right. I'm just saying. Okie dokie. Samantha, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good, 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 good. I have news. I have breaking news. Oh, tell me. Can you remember that bet we had with John? Uh, uh, yeah, a long time the, ago. The Jays and the Phillies? Yes. He never should bet. He should never bet against us. Yes. Because he couldn't eat tapioca pudding for a whole month. Yeah. He broke his fast. <laughs> so, But did he break the bet? No, he waited. He finally had it over the weekend. But do we know for sure? We're, no, we're he taking did. him on nope. the honor system. Yes, I am. He tells me the truth. All and right. he ordered it in his groceries and it came on Sunday and he ate himself some tapioca pudding. Did he ate, eat himself silly? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, just eight. Well, you know what? It's funny. Right now in my fridge is some Cozy Shack tapioca pudding. Oh, my God. That's not for me, though. I'll tell you that. I don't eat that crap. That's, That's for crap. Michael. Yeah, he just bought it today. I don't know why. I, sometimes I'll eat um, because because his wife doesn't drink milk, right? Ah, uh, yes. I haven't drank milk since my heart attack. And <laughs> um, just a little in my coffee every now and then. That's plenty. <laughs> And uh, he, <sighs> so he started buying Cozy Shack chocolate pudding because it's made with real milk. Oh, yummy. Yeah. So he thought that that would help me out. So he bought the tapioca for him. Yeah. I'm like, oh. This makes yuck. me wonder if he if he listens to the podcast. I don't know. You know, he'll eat weird pudding. <laughs> right? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I like the Cozy Shack rice pudding. I'm all I'm all about that. I don't like any type of pudding other than chocolate or butterscotch, right? I know, because why should you be different? Why, why should, should I be different? <laughs> why should you expand your horizons, Lisa? No way. Not at not at 52. <laughs> Good God. Why start now? Ew. Ew. Who's doing that? Who's crazy that way? Just trying new food. <laughs> right? Not this girl. Oh, my God. Not this girl. Okay, so, but, okay, but I have something else. Okay, tell me. I have no idea why. I oh, I hoofed it around Walmart, and I guess yeah. I, I wanted to treat myself. I saw some Swedish berries. Oh, oh. and I bought a box, a like a big box. Yeah, and then we went back to Walmart, and I bought another box. Samantha, <laughs> I'm like, those this? aren't good for you, hey? No, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm on a Swedish berry kick. <laughs> what you're you think you're on the Swedish berry diet? Right, it's, Swedish berry is not a diet. I know it's not a diet, and it's all about the sugar. But they're they were so good though. Or were they fresh? Yes, mm, they were why. gooey, fresh. It was that's yum. Why. Well, you can take some to the lake. Well, we always take stuff to the lake. Yeah, right. Because I'll get my fuzzy peaches. <laughs> we take snacks like we're ten year olds. So. We're ten, right? They're just looking for candy. <laughs> Just want the candy. I'm going to take fuzzy peaches in hopes of not breaking my tongue. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Because I'm currently, my tongue is currently recovering. <laughs> for what? My tongue and, ready for this, the side of my cheek. What? Mm-hmm. What did you do? I ate too many dill pickles. What? I ate some really, 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 really dilly, 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 <laughs> dilly, dilly, dill pickles. And then when that wasn't enough, oh my God. I ate a lot, probably almost a whole cucumber with vinegar. Yeah. What? Yeah. Because I are love you, that. What are you trying to do to yourself? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just love that. I love that vinegar. And then oh I gosh. had bumpy tongue, <laughs> like not too big of bumps, but, but oh enough. And you I think, have... and my cheek. I'm like, who breaks their cheek on pickles? You need to be careful. Right? Because it's sensitive now that you broke it all those years ago. I know, but I've never broke my cheek before. No. Well, that's now I gotta, new. Now I, now I have a new thing to add to to the dangers of my food. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> Hashtag broken cheek. I broke my cheek. I broke my cheek. Dill pickles broke my cheek. Oh my dear God. dill pickle, dear garlic dill pickles, did you need to break my cheek? Uh, hashtag I broke my cheek. I broke my cheek. There should be a warning saying just have two. Right? There's a warning on the goddamn thing of bleach in my house. Don't drink. Yeah. But why don't they put warnings on your dill pickles? Something okay, that well, can the- break your cheek needs to have a warning. Then they should have put the warning sign on the vinegar, Lisa. I don't think yes. that helped. It didn't help, right? That was kind of like the kicker, right? That was the kicker. Was the vinegar? So, I think that put it. I think that put it over the edge. So being unsupervised around dill pickles and vinegar is a bad oh, idea. Apparently it was. Apparently it was. Now what's worse, <laughs> Swedish berries or dill pickles? Well, I didn't break my tongue, nor did I break my cheek eating a See, Swedish a Swedish, berry. a Swedish berry won't do that to you. No, it'll just give you a tummy ache. It'll give you a tummy ache, but it's not going to maim you. No, it will not maim me. Right? I pick foods that that I pick foods that harm you. Yes, you always I need to come with a warning label, right? Oh my god. I pick I pick foods that are meant to hurt. Yes. Yeah. You it's do crazy. all the time. So crazy. So, so crazy. crazy. You want to know what else is so crazy? What? Are you ready for this? <laughs> I think we're half music now. Okay. <laughs> this is going to blow your mind. Yeah. <laughs> I volunteered, which means I did it for free out of the kindness of my heart. <laughs> I volunteered to help weed the 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 weeds at my work why because everybody was doing it right why and are that's... we volunteering to weed you guys don't have gardeners well yeah but but we were getting tired because there the weed it was looking bad so somebody said hey let's just do it ourselves and here's the thing right <laughs> samantha when all uh, people are homeowners uh-huh love flowers yes love gardens yes own the gloves yes they can just go weed (laughs) when said person like myself (laughs) who wanted no home no babies and no flowers in her life has never weeded before it's quite the experience You're just pulling something you don't like out of the ground. How only how weeds. great could that be? Samantha, this number one, right? One of the ladies, she gave me her glove. I got to wear a glove. Woo! They're like those gloves, they got grippers on them, hey? Yes. Yes. Super cool. Super cool. Then I learned that weeds come in more than just dandelions. Yes. There's more weeds than just the dandelion. <laughs> oh my god. I never knew that before. <laughs> Never, ever. I only knew of the dandelion, right? Oh, my God. Seriously? Yeah. So then, as we were weeding, one of the ladies said, it's kind of like Dr. Pimple Popper. You need to find the root and pull. And I'm like, oh, my God. It so is. Because (laughs) as a fan of that show, right, it is exactly like getting the lymphoma Uh, and squeezing it out. Yes. You dig down. But then my question became, and I was doing it really good. I think I'm an arborist. Oh, dear I God. think I think I think my calling might be in weeding, except that I think it's an awful lot of work. Well, there's a lot of stooping. I or stooped. Bending of the knee. I bent. My <laughs> knees were bending. I was stooping. Um, I felt that I didn't quite understand. Like it was fun at first. And then I thought. I wonder why there's no spray that just handles all this. There is. <laughs> right? And why are all these women getting this much joy out of this? And they were. They had handfuls. I would have like a weed. Right? <laughs> so as it went on, in true Lisa oh fashion, half ass, half ass, right? I'm just, I'm just I'm just nattering out there to the world, hey? Yes. I think I'm distracting all the ladies because they're taking the weeding so serious, right? Because they're weeders. They know how to do this. Oh they do this Saturdays at home. They weed. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, chit-chat, natter, 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 natter. And I'm like, oh, geez. I bet you I'm just driving these, these ladies who are focusing on the weeds crazy. But yes. I, but I think that my skill probably shone through. I think they saw how good I was. You okay? Yeah. Cross I'm that so, off. Cross I'm that so, off my bucket list, Samantha. I'm Weeding. Sorry. Oh 
my God. Right. I never, never in the, all the years I've known you, Lisa, would I have thought you would have volunteered to pull a weed. Smith, a couple ladies didn't even use the gloves. That's how good they are. Woo. I know. I'm like, you're not even gloving it up for the weeds. Oh, this is serious stuff, oh my, my friends. God. So did you, did you finish it or is it done? They felt we did enough. Oh, okay. There you yeah. go. They felt we did it. They felt, don't get me wrong, right? Between me and you, <laughs> it still looks like weeds, but <laughs> but we had two big garbage pails full, so we must have done something good. You must have done something right. But I don't know. I didn't get the big, I didn't, I didn't get the big deal. Like I get that. I guess it looks prettier, but I don't know. I don't know. Then are you really a true arborist, Lisa, if you don't understand the beauty of your work? Well, no, because I think I was just still like amazed at the beauty of my work. So maybe it hasn't all sunk in yet. Maybe that's the thing. It hasn't completely <laughs> sunk in. Right? The, they took my picture because it was my first day oh weeding. My God. I got a picture taken. Oh, my God. I'll post that on our social media. That would be fantastic. I had my glove on. Like, yes. Look at me. It's like my first day of school. Right. I think deep down they were so proud. I think they were very proud of you. Yeah, and completely and, stumped at the fact that I, I think now they're starting to wonder how I get through life. <laughs> I right? have wondered the same thing for years. Because you know me, right? The more, the more comfortable and the more familiar I get with them, loose lips sink ships, right? I'm giving away all my secrets, Samantha. Oh my God. Right? Oh my God. <laughs> So that's what I was doing this morning, picking well, some weeds. That's very good on you. I know, right? I'm I'm shocked and amazed. 15 minutes it took. Oh, good God. Right? We did it for 15 minutes. Well, that's just some outdoor activity for you. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty darn impressed. I think, like, look at me weed. <laughs> I am a weeder. <laughs> I am a weed. I wish I need, like, a button. I am a weeder. You should just get a t-shirt. I will add that to my resume. <laughs> right? right and your special interests i can weed i can weed because now i can say i can weed because oh, I. oh right. my god yeah yeah just saying okay just saying. yeah congratulations thank you <laughs> thank you samantha okay but i i need us to talk about okay what the friday night extravaganza yeah we brought you out <laughs> yes i came out we forced but you to come out. We, yes, you pushed me to come out. I did. I hobbled my way in. You did. Lots of people staring at me. Hi. How you doing? Whatever. Yes, I have a finger splint and I have a cane and I have an ankle wrap. She's a mess. I'm a mess. Um, it didn't garner me a free drink, which really kind of pissed me off. Like, were whatever. you hoping like from the men there? Well, I was hoping from like the bartender or the waitress, mm -hmm. she'd be like, oh, here, have a drink on us. No, because by then you're you. sitting, right? You look normal. <laughs> right? If you had kept standing all night, maybe they would have. Maybe. I don't know. But you were sitting. <sighs> yeah. But anyways, we get there. I get there. You two have been there for a bit. <laughs> um, Doing so, what we do best. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and we were just having some fun. Yeah. Some giggles. Just some laughs. Doing some drinking. Yeah, having just a bit of fun girl time, catching up on old times. Yes, and then and then they started playing hockey. Because the Montreal Canadiens were playing. Yes, yes, the Canadians are playing. Yes, and uh, all of a sudden the music died. The, right, the day the music died, right there. <laughs> it hurt my heart. And Lisa, do you want to tell them what happened after that? <laughs> well, not a whole lot. You know what? I, all I wanted is I just was enjoying the music, right? Yes. And I just wanted the music to keep playing. Like, we're at the bar. We didn't go to the sports bar. So I was confused. I'm like, are we at the sports bar? I get that it's on TV. Fine. Put it on TV. <laughs> like, you never, ever turn the volume up on the Jays game. You never turn the volume up on golf when the golf is on. Yeah. Right? But the hockey game comes on, and now all of a sudden the DJ's only going to play at intermission. Yep. And we're on shortened time because things aren't open fully yet because of COVID. Right. Right? That hockey game is three hours. You're going to play for 10 minutes out of every hour. <laughs> and and I, they I, did. <laughs> and it didn't sit well with me. It did not. I didn't appreciate that. That poor waitress, she's like, should I get the manager? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, you should. 
Yes, you should. She's fine. No, she wasn't fine. She was not that happy. Because I like when I'm having a few beverages with my friends, I like to be able to sing the songs. That's true. And then you right. just started making up your own songs. So that was helpful. Well, that's what I do, right? Yeah. Right? That's what I do. I'm just going to get more annoying by the minute. But apparently we, we were we were looking like we were having such a good time. We were the life of the bar. We had a young lady pop on by. And she was young. And she was young. Yeah. She was young enough to be one of the HHG's daughters. Yes. Yes. And her name was uh, Jocelyn Lawrence. You can find her on Instagram. She's a gal from Calgary. Oh, I don't even remember where she was from. Yeah, she's from Calgary. Yeah. And uh, she came over to us and, and she was just like, hi, I'm bored. My boyfriend and his friend are boring. Can I come talk to you? And we're like, sure. Because we're the fun table. <laughs> During the hockey game. Yeah, so she she came to sit with the moms. And that's what she said, right? She said, yeah. she, remember she said, she goes, my boyfriend just said, why are you going to the mom's table? <laughs> yeah. We'll and that's funny, later. right? Because you and I are never called moms. Mm-mm. Right? I don't think I look like a mom. I, well, but we must when we're, because we're with the HHG. So we, so it's just assumption, right? <laughs> We're, we're, we're of mother age. What they assumed was that we're old enough to have kids and we have some. And, and we could be their moms. Yes. Why come are you hanging here. out with the moms? Yeah. Come over here, little man. I have a story to tell you. Exactly. Right. <laughs> right. So I think we I think the moms held their own. We did. She came and she sat with us. She introduced you guys to a new shot. Yeah. I didn't it looked love it. like it a didn't... drink. Like it looked like I don't a know. drink. It was too much again. <laughs> Again, right? HHG, all of a sudden hers is gone. I'm like, oh, Christ, it's that type of drink. Ugh. Yeah, so she introduced the squad, us, to a drink called a shaft. A shaft. Yeah, and it was like in a shot glass, not in a, like in a larger. Like in a whiskey glass. Like in a whiskey glass. Yeah. And it was like milk, Kahlua, coffee, and some other fun alcoholic yeah. things. And it, t- it very dangerous, I feel. Because I, it tasted like, a, like a lot of booze, like coffee. It like, tasted like a twenty-five-year-old girl drinking, <laughs> not a fifty-year-old woman drinking. You know what it reminded me of? But, um, oh my God, it just came to me. Uh, what we always used to drink when we were younger. What did we drink that was a big deal? When we went to the bar. Oh my God, why can't I? Like a B fifty-two? No, it's a drink. With know. milk and coke. Oh, a brown cow. A Kahlua and vodka. I don't remember. I don't. Oh. You know what? I don't believe that Shoot. this. Friends of the podcast, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't <laughs> believe that milk should mix with booze. <laughs> I just see it going down as one big old curdly mess. Yeah, I don't think right? it's good. That and your stomach acids. <laughs> it's not. You start There's... mixing and matching. Not There's pretty. a reason why as adults, we don't do shooters anymore like that. Exactly. Right? Right? But that was a good time. <laughs> it was. It was that fun. Was lots of time. It was lots nice meeting fun. her. She was really lovely. She was. We t- we t- she, she's like, I want to take a picture with the moms. So I'm like, we're not moms. Do. But of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. Right? Because we're, we're having the fun. What I think was hilarious is that Michelle knew her Everybody. boyfriend. Oh my God! There's always the if, sister if, of the boyfriend. If the HHG doesn't know somebody in that bar somehow through their children, it hasn't been a successful night, right? She might as well like I don't know if she has like a neon sign that flashes saying who she is that we don't see. I don't know, but but it's like somehow she it's like six degrees of the HHG. Yeah, it was hilarious. Only well, this time they knew her boy. Yes. Right. Yeah. Usually they know one of her daughters. What I thought was really funny is that um, even the boyfriend's friend at the table knew the HHG's kid. Always. There's always a kid that's being that's known. It's like what is with the junior hockey world? I don't know. And the HHG just thrives on that shit. Right. Because all that is to her. I'm I'm more popular than you two. <laughs> right. That's all she's thinking. Right. In her mind. She's like, mm hmm. I'm the most popular person well, in here right now. Technically, she is. Technically, she is. <laughs> technically, she is, right? I love that, though. I know. So, good times. Good yeah, times. It was fun. Okay, but I... Okay, I have another yeah, confession. Yeah, 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 you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. You do. 
<laughs> and I, I just I just want to make it very clear to the world. I find nothing wrong with Walmart clothing. Nothing. What I was trying to explain was that I thought Lisa was being cheap. <laughs> Which I was. Which was. Which I was. Which is a longstanding joke between Lisa and I and about the clothes that she purchases. But now the funniest thing out of all of that is guess who now is a favorite Walmart shopper? Me. <laughs> right? So that's what happens. Samantha Karma comes back and bites you in the ass. I just wanted a pair of jean shorts for the for the lake that yep. fit. Remember you kept texting me and when you kept telling me it kept coming up jean shirts and I'm like, why are you buying jean Jean shirts? shirts. First off, why are you buying jean shirts? (laughs) Second off, why are you buying more than one? Third off, why are you getting jean shirts for the lake? I only have one jean short. So (laughs) I bought two t-shirts for 10 bucks each. Pretty decent quality, actually. Um, They should be very handy. Good. So two t-shirts and a pair of jean shorts. And I thought that was pretty good. That's good, right? Because I have limited your 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 baggage to one carry on <laughs> luggage. Yes, I know. Right. Thank you for reminding me. I'm just saying. But right? I just want to say, Walmart is fine. Walmart's I fine. Was just making fun of Lisa. Just making fun of me. <laughs> just making fun of me. And I buy his shit there all the time. Right? And I just I think that that you can find good nuggets in Walmart. There are nuggets. There are nuggets. Yes. Absolutely there are. But I will say this. Not every Walmart is the same. No. No. I think you're right there. Because the Walmart in Stonebridge, wholly different from Preston Crossing. Well, that's a fancier one. Yes. It's very fancy. Yeah. It's very fancy. The one out by me, that's not even fancy. That's like a bad one. <laughs> oh, is it a bad right? one? Yeah. <laughs> Because the east side one okay. or west side, it's a west side one. West side, right? So it's always bad. Okay, but listen, I'm glad you cleared that up. Okay, thanks. I saw a commercial the other day on the phone, the other day on the TV. I already know what you're going to talk about. Not very happy. They had mm-hmm. one opportunity. We reached out to them. We <laughs> offered them advice. We we put it out there, right? Mm-hmm. Gave them a free tip. Uh huh. And what do they do? What does Tim Hortons do? Mm. Dear Tim Hortons in Canada, what do you do? You disregard what Lisa and Sam have to say. And you decide to venture off on your own. And instead Uh of introducing, you had one opportunity to introduce a delightful, (laughs) light, airy summer donut. You didn't. Instead, you introduced the cream puff. And the strawberry (laughs) shortcake that's filled just with lots of shit in the middle of it. It looks so heavy heavy and heavy it is a summer it is not a summer donut not a summer donut. it is not pink lemonade nor is it a lemonade a it lemon is, it's not a lemon glaze no there's nothing good about there's what's happening nothing with these two donuts summary about these two donuts they stuffed the strawberry one with some sort of filling then they put icing on top then they put a sprinkle on top of it it's so heavy it is ridiculous and a cream puff donut right that's just a big heavy donut anyways <laughs> Right? That's just big, heavy donut. Ugh. People, you need to really consult with us. We, we put it out there. We gave you, we, 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 we threw the line in the water. <laughs> we thought we reeled you in when we heard you were making a new donut. And this is the thanks we get for our advice. No, it is disappointing. Super disappointing. To the it's point, I'm not even, I will not be trying them. <laughs> I know. I will not be trying them because they're not summery. No, they are not. No. So two thumbs down, Tim Hortons. Boo on you. Yeah, completely. Boo. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but speaking of summer. Okay. What did we do before the weather app? Samantha, before the weather app, we just woke up in the morning. <laughs> That's all we did. Stick our heads outside. Lick our finger and figure I don't out even where know. the wind is blowing. Maybe. We just looked at the sky and got dressed and went about our day. It didn't, it, it didn't matter. Or we, watched the, we actually watched the news until we saw the weather. Right. Right. That's all. Right. We weren't, it was, we weren't obsessed with it. Now we are obsessed with the weather. We can have, I have a weather app on my phone. I have a weather app. I, I've got like 25 different cities just in case I'm curious because God, maybe I want to know what it's like in Montreal today. 
right? Why do I care? I need to know what it's like in Saskatoon. That's uh -huh. just right? Saskatoon. But we are weather we are weather app driven now. Yeah. Right. Like, do we still have the weather st uh, the weather network? network? Yeah, we do. Oh my god. Yeah, Mike Gibson's favorite go to. <laughs> right. At the top of the hour, they're going to show Saskatoon. Awesome. The top of the hour. Right. I've already read about it on my t on my phone. I'm good, dear. I Wait, think I, I don't know. I think we just had days. I think we just did the day. <laughs> we just had a day. I think we just had a day. I think we just got dressed in the summer. We assumed it was going to be hot. In the winter, we assumed it was going to be chilly. Yeah, I know. But I okay. Is it just the province we live in that we're weather obsessed? No, I think because everybody's it can, weather obsessed. It literally can change on a dime. Yeah, I think no. I think everybody is weather obsessed. Because now it's not just enough that it's going to be a hot summer day. We need to know to what temperature it's going to be. And really, that doesn't affect us. How does that affect us? The UV rays. Oh, who cares? They even about tell that? you. They tell you that now on the on the I fancy know. news now. I know it's crazy. We don't need all that sort of stuff. What right? did we do before we knew that? We just walked sunburned. outside and let the sun hit us. Put our, we put on our, our, sprayed on our suntan, <laughs> our baby oil and enjoyed the sun, right? Put that shit in our hair and let your hair get lighter. And the sun in. Right? We put the sun in, made a tin, made a little tin foil, little tin foil thing for our face yes, that we could hold face. up. So we'd get the, we'd get the rays and the rest would be, would oh be a, a baby oil nightmare. Yes. That's what we did and got yes. third degree burns. For sure. Right? Oh, that, my God. That's what we used to do. That oh, was our stuff. That's how we knew it was hot, when, when we could hear the sizzle. Yeah. What, the things we used to do. So crazy, hey? I love so, it. I know. So fun. So the other night, HHG, HHG sends me a text. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm thinking I'm going to have a tomato sandwich. I'm like, oh, that sounds yummy. Because you know me, I love a good tomato sandwich. Uh -huh. Then she texts back. Would you rather have a tomato sandwich or a cucumber sandwich? Ooh. Now that's an interesting question, Samantha. Huh. Where do you teeter? Um. Oh. Okay. Like, well, you know, okay. So the, it, okay. I know you're not a fan of the tomato. No, I, you know, I get weird about vegetables yes. and fruit. Yeah. And, and. I feel like a tomato needs to be firm in order yes. for it to be eaten. Yes. And I feel the same about a cucumber. Yes, I agree. But a good cucumber sandwich, like cucumber and mayonnaise sandwich. With some salt and pepper. With some salt and pepper. But a tomato with salt and pepper and mayo too is just like... Argh. Right? So this is the ongoing conversation between me and the HHG. Oh I God. don't know. I don't know. <laughs> then she says, oh, and then the egg salad came. Oh, oh. Then what do you do? You pick egg, egg salad. I would pick egg salad. You pick egg salad, right? <laughs> I pick egg salad. Sorry. Anytime there's a sandwich, <laughs> an egg salad becomes part of the selection. It's egg salad. It's egg salad. Unless, unless it's like, unless, no, there's not even an unless. It's always egg salad. Yes. Right? Like I love a good roast beef sandwich or an egg salad. Oh, egg salad. Egg salad. Right? It's always, or egg salad. <laughs> right? <laughs> So I'm like, that's such a good point because I love a tomato sandwich so much. Yes. I love a cucumber sandwich an awful lot too. And, yeah. but, but, uh, but egg salad trumps it. Okay. So what are, are, maybe we should have tomato and cucumber sandwiches at the lake. Screw meat. Seems like a lot of work. No, jeez, you have to cut stuff. But then you got to have bread. And well, what are bun. we eating? Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. It's uh -huh. Katie for lunch every day. Right. And I only like buns at the lake. <laughs> Yes, and you get weird about bread, so. Right, I don't like bread at all. That's the not life. helpful for me. No, no bread, <laughs> right? There, there'll be no bread. Right, there'll be no bread. Oh, so sad. I'm just saying, right? Friends of the podcast, what do you pick? Do you do oh. the tomato, the cucumber, or the egg salad? Okay, but do you toast your bread for the tomato and the cucumber sandwich? I toast it for the tomato. I don't toast it for the cucumber. Agreed. What right. about the egg salad? Bread I or bun? Bread. Bun. Bun? Bun. Open, open faced bun, egg salad on both sides. Not Boom. on a bun. Boom. No, egg salad goes on the bread, not on the no. bun. No. No, not on the bun. You know, that makes you a little <laughs> bit of a monster. I'm not a monster.
monster. I think you might be a little bit of a monster it's, right it's now. It's homemade buns. Does that count? No, no bun. Bread. It's how I uh, ate my last egg salad sandwich, and it was mm, delish. It would be better on a bread. No. Better on a bread. You, o- you almost said bun, and you almost agreed with me. I didn't agree. I didn't agree. Okay. But, Lisa. Yeah. Am I going to get a video every Sunday? If I'm out. <laughs> If I'm out, you will, because I am a weekend warrior. I don't think you understand that term. I don't know. It sounds like it fits me. I get up early, and I go out on, on my weekend, and I'm a oh warrior. God. No, you're not. A I weekend? get stuff done. <laughs> like what? What do you get I done went, on a Sunday? I went to the dollar store. To do what? Just look around. You just. I went to the dollar store. I went to the dollar store. <laughs> I was looking around. Right? Listening to my 70s music. Uh Uh-huh. 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 Said in my friend a little clip of it. I think the Weekend Warrior, the whole meaning behind that is somebody who, like, is super productive on their weekend. Yeah, hi, that's me. Doing, like, household things. Yeah. Or they're out doing sporty. I'm in my household. No, you're out doing sporty things, not going to the dollar store. I'm watching sporty things that in my household. That makes me like a weekend <laughs> warrior. A weekend warrior. Yes. I no, am it's not. doing sport I'm watching sporty things at home. I think no. I feel That's I feel not I could, it. Um, I don't know. That's not it. I don't know if I agree with your definition. I think you should. I think I don't. I think I do not actually. I, you know what? I'm not surprised you don't understand it because I don't understand I, it. It's you. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't understand those things. You put words together and you don't get it, but you still use them. I am a weekend warrior. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I am. L- let's move on to things that everybody will understand, which is, <laughs> hey guys, your Facebook Tuesday. Facebook Tuesday was was pretty decent this week. Oh, it was a good one. It was a good one. Yeah, I I still don't know if there was a clear winner loser. Like I'm not is the thing. I felt people didn't like much of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think coleslaw kind of came out. Coleslaw didn't like, do. Oh, and onions. Onions. People didn't love onions. No, because it bothered the stomach. Right. Right. Gives people some. I, I fear that's the older crowd. <laughs> Maybe. Right. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Um, what else didn't fare well? Um, you know what? People just seem to want just relish and ketchup. Well, and I don't think tomatoes did well. No, people were like, "What is that? It's really like." <laughs> tomatoes like there's nothing there's nothing weird it's just tomatoes yeah well i thought it was really funny Teresa said um she's now allergic to things she can't identify uh, and that's my girl <laughs> i have a new best friend her name's Teresa. and i'm like thanks lisa for encouraging people to now dislike things they can't identify makes perfect sense <laughs> makes perfect sense to me exactly well and then we tra- apparently we traumatized christine i know i feel bad about that from last week she was afraid to kick anything to the curb because she didn't want to hurt your feelings well and you know and i what? appreciate that right i appreciate that <laughs> taking my feelings into consideration yeah she's the only one hey i know everybody else right yeah but let's ask her where does she feel how does she feel about elf and Mr. Freezy's, that's the true test. Oh, that is the true test. That right. is the true test. Right. Um, and again, Valerie, your explanation. She has the best explanation. Always so yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So good. And how so you explain why you're kicking them to the curb. I love it. And and it's such a it's a such a well thought out explanation. <laughs> yes, it it's is. awesome. <laughs> so thank you for another great one, guys. I appreciate thank, that. Thank you. Yes. And if anybody has any suggestions, feel yes. free to oh my God. let us know, right? We're always Monday night Ugh. at the last minute trying to come up with a Tuesday Please Facebook. Please help me out. Help Sam. I Sam am needs so help. so done with Lisa going, I don't know. I give a suggestion. I don't know. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with you. I I'm know. done with this. Right. Pick Skips. one yourself. Right. So, <laughs> so if there's any help, we'll take it. Facebook us, guys. If you have uh, a suggestion for Tuesdays, uh, one has to go. Hit us up. Hit us up. Hit us up. So just like that, you guys, call to action. This is what we need you to do. Invite your people to our Facebook group. Invite them to Instagram. 
Get him to listen to the podcast. Download and subscribe the episodes every week. So we know how we're doing. Yeah. So we know if you like us. Because Lisa needs you to know. <laughs> Lisa I needs need to, to know, know, right? I need to know. I, <laughs> I need do to too. Know. <laughs> I like she, to be liked. She does like to be liked. Now, you guys know we have Facebook, Instagram. We have the Twitter. We're constantly on there talking back, uh, talking to you guys. You message us. We'll message you back. Promise. Um, we're kind of playing with TikTok, but don't quote us on that one. Um, it's fading fast again. It's, oh, cause it's just so, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> um, however, uh, if you do like what you listen to and you're thinking, Hey, maybe I can support these guys. You guys can go to Patreon or Podbean Patreon. And for as little as $2 a month, you can support the podcast and help us out. Uh, it's just patreon.com slash I shake my head. And then Podbean, uh, if you're in, uh, I shake my head, the money bag is over my face apparently. And you just hit it and you follow the prompts. So super easy to do. Uh, and we would be very grateful if you did. Also, we have merch. So through Threadless, it's ishakemyhead.threadless.com. You can get a t-shirt, a hat, um, a bag. What else we got, Lisa? Uh, shower curtain. Shower curtain. Oh my God. Water please. bottle. Water bottle. <laughs> please get the, please get something other than the shower curtain. <laughs> um, and also we are part of the Podfix network. Uh, we love being on it. So, and there's a great podcast on there. Uh, we, I would just like to mention mouse and weeds and varmints. Those are my two faves. I know Lisa is a, has a couple of favorites as well. I like those two. Okay. <laughs> um, but that's it guys. Just, invite people to the podcast download and subscribe that's all that we ask absolutely okay now i saw something interesting okay apparently it was on tiktok oh, okay but i saw it on my ig through et um et canada right the backstreet boys aj and nick we're together with nsync's joey fatone and lance bass <laughs> that's like the dream team and they were touting endless possibilities of their TikTok rendition of Bye Bye Bye. Like, bye, 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 bye. That one? Yes. Cool. And they tried to do the dance. And <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell, man? How uh, They're the dream team, right? They should form and make a new boy band. Oh, my God. Do you think? Right. The, 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 the we're not boys boy band. We're men. We're men. But they can't do boys to men. Been done. <laughs> Right. <laughs> they're men who can dance they are men who can dance right? that's kind of fun i saw that clip too and i'm like you know what? they still had the moves right i think i could do it too maybe that's what we should do on our vacation is we live that tiktok uh no i can't Remember, jump yeah i can't jump with my ankle. okay so maybe you can't jump but you can do all the other motions remember samantha <laughs> you went to hip-hop class oh my god seriously right? and you remember you had your recital no, I and didn't. You got actually. a diploma because you did no, so well. No, I didn't. I didn't. Or a even, ribbon. I didn't finish. Oh, that's right. You quit. I quit. You quit hip hop. I quit hip hop. So you are no better at hip hop because than of what I am because I was constantly getting razzed by you. No, that I'm not taking that on. But you know what? We just wanted to come to the recital at the end. No. <laughs> and you would have no part of it. No. So Samantha, how interesting is this? Right? I volunteered today to weed and <laughs> queen elizabeth is looking for volunteers to weed her sandringham estate i might as well apply you should apply right because now i can say wholeheartedly i can weed yeah. it's a lot of work that weeding hey it's a lot of work i can weed it's a lot of work but I, mean, I can weed right me and the queen uh, i can weed for the queen for the queen okay. i can weed okay i have questions what one why do they need volunteers for weeding? Because maybe she's on a fixed budget right now because her husband just died. <laughs> True. Two, where are the gardeners in all of this? I think there's just lots of weeds. Three, are there going to be snacks? Oh, yeah, there'll be snacks. Are you sure? Yeah, there'll be like like a cucumber sandwich probably. <laughs> probably. Right? I know, like those fan, like there'll, there'll be like fancy little snacks. <laughs> Okay, and how are you, are you paying for your own flight, or are they are they paying for the flight for you well, to get I'll to England? Well, I'll pay to go there, right? But I mean, I'm not going to have to worry about accommodations, right? Because I'm going to stay with Liz. 
Okay. Right? Because we're friends. We're already friends, right? You're, so You're going to stay with Liz. Right? She's going to be like, oh, I'm so glad you threw your hat into the ring. I'll be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I did. Because now I can do this, Liz. Now I've actually weeded. So now I think I can do this. I got this. I got this. So I'm just saying, right? Look for Lisa somewhere in England. <laughs> I think that's where it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yes, it's in. Well, I, I don't know. Where is Sangram? Or Cass? Scotland? It's one or the mm, other. I feel like that's Scotland. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that it's just the, an estate. Fine. That's calling my name. But you're the official arborist of the Ruh Foundation. So yeah, I you're am. You're good to go. <laughs> yes, I am. Right. I am the official arborist. I asked if these weeds were perennials or annuals. They were neither. They're weeds. Well, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know all my flower talk. I'm just learning it. If you're an arborist, you would know that. Well, I'm just learning it, right? I just, but today was my first day on my job, Uh right? It was my first day being an arborist. So give me, give me a couple days, would you? Okay. Listen to this. So Sunday, right? Mike's a sleeper in her, right? Yes. I'm not I'm not a sleeper in her. I wake up at the same time, doesn't matter whether I'm going to work or not. Mike now is doing that. He's waking up early. So on Sunday, I said to him, Oh my god, we are officially old people. We both were up at seven thirty AM on for on a Sunday. <laughs> we had our cinnamon buns by nine. I'm like, Oh my god, this is gonna be the longest day in the whole wide world. Because it's already ten and we hate each other. Right? We're already not, I'm already saying, asking him if he needs to go have a nap. And he's already like not liking me and my chit chat. And it's only 10. And he, we, he shouldn't even be out of bed yet. Oh my God. Right? Oh my God. Samantha. What the hell was he doing out of bed? I don't know. Cause he went to bed early, right? Oh yeah. Right? So that he's up early. I'm like, okay, gotta remember, right? Keep that baby awake. <laughs> Keep that baby awake at night. <laughs> Right? He's got to keep watching TV or something. He can't go to bed too soon. No. He bought he bought uh, four plums the other day. And he said to me, he goes, they need to be eaten right away because they're really, really, they're they're really ripe. Oh, God. I know, right? I Try, hate to be, I hate pre- being pressured to eat fruit. Right? Try being me. Ugh. Try being me. So I ate those four plums on Sunday. All four of them? All four because they were like, they needed to be eaten. And I love oh. plums. Okay. It's not good. It's not good. Oh, my God. It's not good. Samantha. I don't you understand. Eat, don't eat four plums in a day. No. How did that work for your digestive system? Hi. Right? Ask my bum. <laughs> Ask my bum. I guess it worked good in one, on one hand. <laughs> one hand. <laughs> right? One hand, it, uh, one hand, it worked quite well, apparently. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Okay. I have a question for you. Uh-huh. Do we want to eat salads that come from a fast food chain? Yes. We do? Yes, but only what? only one, only certain ones. Why is that? Because I eat the Wendy's uh, avocado bacon ranch. From the, chicken. From the fast Bacon chicken food, ranch. From the, yes, from the burger place. It is delightful. A salad from the fast food restaurant. Yes, because it has avocado, chicken, bacon, ranch, lettuce, tomatoes. It is so good. So really? good. Yeah, I love it. So, really, I get that there's bacon and I get that there's avocado, but it's from the fast food place, Samantha. I know, but it tastes lovely. Oh, I don't know. I see these commercials and I'm just like, mm. No, I don't it, think we should lump salad into the fast food chain. No, I think you should because honestly, I'm I'm advocating for this particular Wendy. I don't know any other salad at Wendy's. All no, they I have know, a strawberry one I saw in a commercial. Yes, I saw that, but I don't mm, no. no. Um, I've had their taco salad, but uh-huh. mm, it's chili on lettuce. So, but this is really good. Like it's avocado, chicken, bacon, ranch, tomatoes, lettuce. It's all I the don't fun. Know. I don't no, know. it's so good. Mm. Maybe like from a restaurant, maybe. No, it was so good. And I'll get a Frosty with that. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's just the extra fun part, getting a Frosty. I don't know. It just seems or, odd. And if for fun, throw in a baked potato. Throw in. Oh, you know, I'll give them that. Oh, they make good baked potatoes. They make good baked potatoes. It's a good, it's a baked potato. It's a good <laughs> baked potato. 
Bring the butter. Bring the butter. Bring the sour cream and the cheap little bacon bits and those chives. And put it on the potato. Uh, throw some cheddar on there. You're good to go. Right. Put it in that little dome sealed. Yes. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Beautiful potato. The Wendy's does. <laughs> I'll give you that, Samantha, but I don't think I'm giving you a salad. Nope, you have think. to. That one mm-hmm. you have to. I don't know about like McDonald's or Burger King or any of those other joints. I have mm-hmm. no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Seems odd. Still seems odd to me. Okay. Well, let's let's move on, shall we? Let's. We shall. The jig is up. What jig? Willy nilly. Oh, don't start your stupid phrases. I'm on pins and needles. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why are you because doing this? John and I were talking about them the other day, and I'm like, what does the jig is up mean? What jig? What's up? Who's the jig? Like, why would it be up? Like, I'm just curious. How did we come up with this sh- stuff? It's, I hate these type of phrases. And then, and then with the willy nilly, who's willy and why are they nilly? Like no. willy nilly? Like what is willy nilly? Right. No, it's just, I don't know. No, right? I don't, mm, I, I understand that I'm on pins and needles because that would hurt. <laughs> That's right? owie. That's ouch. But it's like all <laughs> those stupid little phrases, right? Like winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> right? Oh, man, right? It's all those things. <laughs> It's it's what I said. I've already said it. Turn on a dime. Who comes? Like, what is that? What do you what mean? Turn that? on a dime. What, like, what? But we all know them. But why do we have to know them? Who do, who does this to us and why? <laughs> but yet we all spit out something like that at some point. Oh, it's horrible. We all use a little weird catchphrase. Little catchphrase weirdness, right? Don't don't be all willy nilly. I don't know what willy nilly is. Willy nilly, know. like I, back and forth. You're 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 not sure. You're waffling. You're waffling. That's waffling. What it is. You're waffling. <laughs> I don't get those. I'm just saying. I who came up them. with that stuff? I don't know, but you know what? It's like who came up with what's a better gadget, the paper clip or the staple? <sighs> Both are pretty. What's good. better? What is the better one? <sighs> Which one would we? Oh. Paper clips clip paper, but they can also clip other. Well, you know what? The staple. You got to go staple. Yeah, because you can staple anything. Right. Paper clips limited. Yes. Now, if it was a bulldog clip, different. Different. Right. Like a bulldog clip. That's pretty impressive. Yes. I like a good bulldog clip. We're not talking about that, though. No, it's a pa- it's a paper clip. Or, it's, a st- or, a staple. or a staple. Right. So staple got to win. You can staple lots of shit. Yeah, right? Huh. Who uh-huh. didn't? I wonder who invented that. We should ask. And why? I wonder why. <laughs> why? Like, who decided we needed to group paper together like that? Who decided to, like, take a piece of wire and, like, do a loop-de-loop thing? Right. And organize these things together. Yeah. And who thought of putting, like, a little piece of steel right. in, like, a contraption that went ka Yeah. Weird. It's, and yet today it stands the test of time. It's probably a mil- It's probably 300 years old. <laughs> right? Paperclip is probably as old as man. That's true. Right? Just a piece of wire. Huh. Yeah. Interesting thoughts, Weird, hey? Lisa. I know, Samantha. Oh, my God. But this leads us into Guess Who's Got Questions? Lisa's Got Questions. It's Lisa's Question Corner. Samantha, I got some questions. Oh, God. I hope I'm ready. All right, you ready? Okay. Who decided that clothes need to be hung up? Well, first of all, dryers weren't always around, Lisa. Okay. So when people needed to dry their clothes back in the olden days. Oh, that's that's <laughs> that's why. That's when dryers weren't around like it that's like a 20th 21st century invention, is it gotcha. not? Or 20th century invention? Okay. So well, you went from so all of a sudden one day somebody just decided I'm going to hang this up. How else do you get stuff dry? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Who 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 decided we needed to do it that way? Well, somebody must have realized that instead of just laying it on the ground, sticking it over something made it dry quicker. Made it dry quicker. They must have. Hey, <laughs> I guess so. Okay, ready? Oh my God! Who invented hats? Somebody who needed a hat. 
But what is a hat? <laughs> what is a hat? Like, why did we need hats? I don't. Well, because I mean, the sun is quite harsh. But right? you could. But you could just use a blanket. Use a towel. Use a towel. Piece of cloth. How did we get a hoodie? How did they uh, know to put a hood onto a bunny, onto a sweatshirt? Let's be honest, right? A sweatshirt never needs a hood because <laughs> it's an indoor item. Sweatshirts are not an indoor item. It's 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 a sweater. It's an outdoor item. It's not outdoor. It's an indoor item. Outdoor item is your coat. A sweatshirt? Indo- indoor item. No, because like on a on a cool summer night, sweatshirt. On a, a cool fall morning, sweatshirt. Does it ever need a hood, though? Well, maybe if you're cool like that. I don't think it ever needs a hood. I think it could just be a sweatshirt. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think I still think it's more indoor. Okay, so we don't know about the hat. No, because I have no I have no clue in bed and hats. But whoever did, smart. Super smart. Because they stood the test of time, too. Well, big industry. Big industry, right? Everybody wears hats. Then today, when I was doing my new volunteer job. Oh, dear. Why? Who decided the dandelion is a weed? When it pops up in your lawn, Uh just because seeds flew in from the next door neighbor's lawn or yard, it's a weed. But they're not ugly. No, but it's not. It's not part of a lawn. A dandelion is never supposed to be part of a lawn. But what's it supposed to be part of? Nobody's lawn. But it's part of something. It's part of the forest. I don't think it's in the forest, Samantha. I don't think it lives in the forest. I don't think I, the dandelion is in the forest. I think a dandelion is supposed to be every, anywhere but a lawn. I don't know. I think they're pretty on the lawn. And then you play the game, right? Mama had a baby and her head popped off. <laughs> but you claim you never played. I never. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right? You take the, the head of the dandelion. You put the... Uh, with your thumb near it and you go, mama had a baby and her head popped off and you pop off its head. Oh my God. I don't know. One of those things from the seventies, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. My last question. You ready? Uh Uh-huh. Who decided that we needed so many different pastas? Like, let's be honest here, right? They all taste the same. Let's have a spaghetti. Let's have a macaroni. Why do we need so many? Because people like diverse things, Lisa. Don't they don't it. always want a spaghetti noodle. They don't always want a macaroni noodle. Maybe they want a ravioli. Maybe they want a, a ganoshi. Maybe they want, uh, uh, I don't know. There's like a ton of other things. A, I don't know. I like a tube. They want a tube. A, ravi, a ravioli. A uh, tortellini. A cannelloni. There. I don't know. I'm just saying. Who decided we needed so many? Uh, somebody who just kept deciding that pasta was awesome and it needed to be in all different shapes and sizes. I guess so, Samantha. I guess so. That's what I think, Lisa. All right. That's fine. Think that. Okay. I'm going to bring it up. Okay. I'm doing it again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, Not again. We're revisiting this for the third time because this guy will uh, not give it up. I get spanked for talking about my hair. But we can talk about it. You can talk about this every week. Yes. Apparently, I can. Okay. So... In the ongoing saga of Jeff Bezos going to space. Yeah. The spaceship looks like a penis. Samantha, Jeff Bezos looks like a penis. I know. Apparently, the picture of this spaceship was being talked about on an Australian uh, news anchor, a news show, and the anchors were having a really hard time keeping themselves from laughing. And in fact, they couldn't, they had, they were laughing at the picture of the spaceship because really? I saw it. That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a cock. It looks like a penis. <laughs> it looks like a cock. It looks like a cock. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And they Why? just, I was watching the video of them laughing. It was hilarious. That's too funny. It was hilarious. Why do you got to like, make it look like that? But it's billionaires and their phallic symbols. Like, come uh, on. Uh, it's weird. It's a weird, weird, weird thing. So weird. Right? Like, but, why like, can't it just look like... Like, if you want to make it look different, because that's what I'm sensing, make it look like, <laughs> oh my God, it looked like a ship. Cool. 
How cool is that? A ship going into space. Exactly. It right? looked like a race car. Cool. I that know. it looks like your penis. It looks like your pee pee. Right. <laughs> it looking like a pee pee. Right. It seems weird. It seems I, weird. I don't know. Like, give me a break. Yeah. No. But the second thing is, and I couldn't believe this, and I'm like, seriously, they, he's not a well liked man. There are now two petitions to keep him from coming back to Earth once he hits space. That's too funny, right? Keep him there. <laughs> they have roughly 39,000 signatures between the two petitions. Yeah. And I'm like, up there. to keep him in space. Once he goes past the Earth's atmosphere and he's in that space part or whatever, right. he's yeah. only up there for 10 minutes. They don't want him back. They don't want him back. It's like, it should be like, it's like the American and the Canadian border, right? We take away your passport. You can't come back. <laughs> you can't come back. You got to stay. So as soon as he leaves Earth, we're leaving you up there. Good luck. Right? <laughs> it's like, it's like playing Monopoly and you landed in jail. <laughs> and guess what? The game's over now. Oh my God. And, and I'm just like, you guys, you do realize this is utterly ridiculous. That is so crazy. Like, that I don't even. so like, crazy. Who thought of that? Where's he going to go? That is like, but why he even wants to go? Who knows? What are you doing? In te- what are you doing in 10 minutes in space? What are you like? What? What? Like it's 10 minutes, right? He always wanted to go there, Lisa. Uh, I mean, I get maybe like you're there for like 10 days. Yes. Right. But like the petitions don't make sense because there's nowhere for him to go. I don't know. I don't get it. Samantha. Once he's there. And yeah. he has passengers. So, dudes, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's save coming your breath. Back. Yeah. Save, Just stop it. Save the pen. Save the save paper. The save. Ink, save the ink. Right? Save what the ink. You, what are you doing with him? Yeah. Right? He's coming back. And then he's going to do. <laughs> he's going to spend more money. Yes. Because he's a billionaire. Exactly. He's not done yet. Okay. So, we're almost at the point of where we're going to the lake. Yeah. And you brought you brought up Crocs again, and I'm like, I'm still on the fence. I know, but we said we were going to wear them. We will. I just don't know. Maybe not this time. Maybe in August, my ankle will be more excited about that. Okay, fine. But we will wear them in August. We will wear them in August. It's not. It's not fair to say we're going to do it and then chicken out because we hate them. I will do it in August. All right. Okay. okay. However, we've gone to the next level with these lovely rubber shoes. Uh huh. There are Crocs for dogs. Do dogs need no. Crocs? No, they don't actually. Remember when dogs just had paws? <laughs> remember when dogs used to not get dressed? Right. They didn't. Remember dogs <laughs> didn't wear clothes and they didn't put on their boots. That was one of the things that separated them from their owner. Right. They didn't have to put on their outdoor clothing. Yeah. They yeah. were born in their outdoor clothing. Right. They were. My mom used to always say, right. They're born with their fur coats on. Yeah, they were born with their fur coats right. on. Right. Now we have to layer them up. And now they're wearing Crocs. And now they're wearing Crocs. For what reason? I have no idea. Unless but, maybe perhaps on a rainy day and they don't want to get their paws dirty. I don't know. I don't know. But then if it's too hot, right, they don't. Like all these problems have always existed, right? Their little paws, I get, right? We don't want them to be too hot. No. I get that. But yet, yes. but yet in the 70s, they were too hot and, and they seemed fine. I don't they, know. They Fine. They seemed okay back then. They didn't. It is, I don't know. But the dog pet. And, oh my god. Yes. Cat, right. Do, like it's you got to be very. You got to be conscious of it. It is a million bajillion dollar industry. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Holy so why wouldn't crap. they now have Crocs like their owners? Why wouldn't they? Right. And they probably have matching <laughs> sweaters. And if they go on Sunday to brunch. Oh my god. I know it makes no sense to me. No, not really. You know what though? Ten years ago. I got it. Okay, so so let me back it up a little bit. You know how Facebook sends you your memories, right? Oh, yes. So Facebook sent me my memories. Sometimes I don't like my memories. Uh-huh. And my memory was from 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, my Facebook memory said that the McRib was here. Ah. So how do you think I felt about that, Samantha? Well, you probably felt like it was a kick in your pants. A little bit like a kick in the pants, right? Because <laughs> I love the McRib and dear Facebook, I know you listen to everything. <laughs> you know I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but yet it's never it coming is. back. But yet there it is just in my memories. And it shows up for a week to rub the salt in the wound. A week? 
It showed up every day for a week to remind me, oh, look, I must have talked a lot about it that week. Oh, my God. And I would have, right? Because I would have been so excited because I would have been enjoying them all week long. (laughs) Who would have thought 10 years ago that I would have regretted that decision to have posted that on my Facebook? Oh, well. Right? Facebook. Why you got to be like that? Why you got to be like that? McRib, come, please, come back. (laughs) Just come back. That's never happening. One McRib. I just want one. I want you to just come back just for one day to to, to Saskatoon. Uh, I can't believe I've had a McRib in the last three years. And And I have have not. not. I know, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Hilarious. Crazy, Samantha. (laughs) Okay. Lisa. What? You sent me. We had a very interesting conversation through text about what we're bringing to the lake for food and yes. then beverages. Yes. And we decided that the kebabs, they're the luxury item we are going to purchase. Kebabs are our luxury item this time <laughs> for the lake, right? And we're not getting those frozen packaged ones. We're getting the fancy ones. We're getting the fancy stick Fancy ones, ones from the butcher. From the butcher. The butcher's going to make us our kebabs, Samantha. <laughs> That's what that's what we're gonna have. Oh my god! Right? And I'm like, I hope we eat them. We will. We will. We're gonna eat them for supper. Oh my god! I know. I'm so excited! I can't wait. Right? And you can have your fancy beer. Well, yeah, I suppose so. It's expensive beer, though. That one's mm-hmm. on you. That one's on you. Well, and you won't commit. What do you mean I won't commit? You won't commit to what you want. Because I don't know till I see it. Uh... Right, Samantha. Sad news. What? Herb Tarlick from WKRP died. Oh, He was 79. He was uh-huh. only 79? What do you mean only? I thought that seemed so old. He looked like 100 when he was on WKRP. <laughs> do you know Herb Tarlick, the dark-haired guy? Yes. No. Are you thinking Les Nessman? Oh, I'm thinking Les Nessman. I think you're thinking Les Nessman. Right? Herb Tarlick was like the, like my pants, my Herb Tarlick pants. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, he had yeah, dark, dark it. hair. Yes, okay, but got he, it. But he's 79. Really? Yeah, that's sad, hey? Huh. Mm-hmm. Pretty sad. I was surprised. God, I watched that all the time. It was like the best show, right? So I, my question is, what's, what's Lonnie looking like? I, oh my God, I just thought of that. What does Lonnie Anderson What does she look like now, now? Right? That's Didn't what I want she to know. marry? Did she marry Burt Reynolds? I don't know. Were they actually married or not? I don't I, know. I think they got married. Do you? They may have been. I think so. Remember, she was like the blonde bombshell. Yes. Yeah. Right? Holy. You ne- you'd never have her in a show today. No, probably right? that's, not. That the world would not be happy with that portrayal. Uh huh. Right. But she was not a silly. She no, was not, not a at silly all. woman. No, no, she was beautiful. She was very smart. Very, very smart. Oh, my God. That was a great show. It was a good show, right? WKRP in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. That was a fun show, (laughs) right? It was a good show. That's when TV shows were fun. That's so sad. Yeah. So I thought you'd think that was sad. Okay. But speaking of sad things as well. Okay. They brought the dating game back for celebrities. Oh, my God. Are you watching it? Yeah. So I was I was interested to know that it was um is, is Zoe Deschanel? Yeah, Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. Lovely lovely young lady. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. And and then they introduced Michael Bolton. <laughs> and I'm like what? I too have watched the show. <laughs> and I watched it and it's like so hard to watch them interact but the thing is with the new dating game is it is a train wreck that needs to be experienced (laughs) like like that like my husband walked out and he's like are you serious and i'm like i can't stop watching (laughs) because it's so horrific it is so horrific it's which one did you watch um oh it was some chick from the bachelorette Oh, okay. I didn't watch that one. I watched with Carson Kressley oh. and um, oh, and Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea? Yeah, Iggy Azalea. How did that go? I don't know. I oh, she, she found a nice guy. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. And as I watched it, I'm like, 
God, I remember it from in its original state. Uh huh. I thought it's still as bad and as lame as what I recall. Yes. Only now there's Michael Bolton. <laughs> but I can't. I I don't understand what he does. He sings the he sings the round three clues, so you know who that star is. That is why they have them on. Why he's on the show the whole time? I guess time. so because that that's that's what I take from it is that after the on the third set of questions, he sings. He takes he takes a random song. Random, like, pop song, not one uh-huh. of his, just uh-huh. a random pop song, changes the words to interact, so it interacts with, with if, say it's Carson Kressley, for example, right, talking about Queer Eye, and I dress the guys, and I walk the, I walk the, the stage, and I, blah, 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 all the things that Carson Kressley would do, because the goal is, is that one of the questions is, who do you think I am and why? So Michael Bolton sings this in the big Michael Bolton weird creepy voice <laughs> with his with his weird creepy blonde toupee. Okay, because the hair is not real, right? It can't be. And why is it blonde? Because he's got to be eighty five. Okay, if it's real, he's had hair plugs. Oh yeah, definitely. Is I think it's plugged. I think they're plugs. Holy smokes! Why is it blonde? Well, because I mean, or is honest, it white? Blondie white. It's like white. It's creepy. It's just so super creepy. creepy. He's, he's he is so creepy. He seems a little like stiff. Yeah, because he's eighty five. I think he's animatronic. <laughs> I think I think he's dead. I think he's not even live. I think he's I think he's a puppet on like he's like Pinocchio or something. Right? I think he's I think he's a puppet. Oh my god. It's I the creepiest thing I've I ever seen. I don't understand the combination of the two of them. I don't know. No, and they are awkward. They have no chemistry. They have zero chemistry. No, right? And it's yeah, so I just weird. thought that it was just bizarre. Could she not but, have done that show herself? Yeah, or not have done it. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe that's not one of the summer hits that needed to come back. Maybe, but I, you know, she was so great on New Girl. Yeah. And now this is where she is. Right now you are Michael Bolton's sidekick. And no oh. matter what, no matter how great that dating game show does or, or doesn't do, she is not the star of it. The star is and Michael Bolton. Ugh. Right? And not positively. Because that's now all I think of is, oh, my God, that's Michael Michael Bolton? <laughs> on a celebrity dating game On the show. celebrity dating game? And he's just like... Like, not really the host. He just sits there. <laughs> it's like Randy Jackson playing the piano on that Name That Tune. Like, why are you here, too, Oh, Randy my Jackson? God. That's true. He right? looks And he really... was kind of animatronic, too. Oh, a little bit. He... Yeah, it's weird. There's some weird shit going on with some <laughs> old stars, man. <laughs> There's some weird shit. Weird shit, man. Weird shit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Weird, weird shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I think this should lead us into... My favorite section. Lisa, it's things you want to know. All right, Lisa, I got random facts about adult beverages. Well, you know, I love a good adult beverage, Samantha. Yes, you do. Okay, fact number one. The amount of pure alcohol in a typical can of beer, glass of wine, or shot of spirits is exactly the same. That always blows my mind. You're drinking it. It's the same. It's the it same. don't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It takes about 600 grapes on average to make one bottle of wine. Oh my God. Really? You, yes. You should pray to the grape gods. Yes. And that they keep producing. <laughs> they keep producing. Keep bringing us wine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, every bottle of champagne has an estimated 49 million bubbles. And I hate champagne for the bubbles. <laughs> because you hate anything. Because I hate bubbles. <laughs> you hate bubbles. Hate bubbles. <laughs> Including the ones that are made with soap. I hate anything bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> All 13 of the minerals needed for human health and life can be found in alcohol beverage. Wow, hey. <laughs> so it's good for you. Oh my god. Cool. <laughs> if that wasn't a good excuse to keep drinking, I don't know what keep to. Keep on trucking. <laughs> keep on trucking. Okay, there's no worm in tequila. Really? 
The worm is in mezcal, and it's not a worm, but a butterfly caterpillar. That might even be grosser. It might be. Might be grosser. It might be. Why are we? Why is that in my drink? <laughs> why is that in my drink? Oh, that's sort of gross. Okay, but I have a bonus point. Okay. Drinking in moderation does not appear to contribute to weight gain. Yeah, what, what? So that's not why you got a muffin top, Lisa. It's not because of the wine. Because <laughs> it's not a wine top. No. It's a muffin top. It's a muffin top. All right, so cross that off. My, it might be the wine. <laughs> not the wine. Not good the to know. wine. Good yeah. to know. Good to know. Those are some good fun facts, Samantha. Yeah, you're welcome, Lisa. Yeah. All right, do you have an I shake my head? I do. It's about our city and and the roads. Don't start. Okay. Why are we fixing roads and potholes with loose stones? (laughs) Are we not just waiting to wreck car windshields? Yes. Okay. Because I'm like, what is like, why is like, I shouldn't have to be ducking in my car as I drive down my side street. No. No. That (laughs) I drove down a street today. Every other block had, must have been torn apart and yeah. there was loose rock all over and it was bumpy and it was horrible because is that like we haven't completed the job or we're just patching the job or we it's, don't care about the job it's a patch and if we're really on top of things we'll get back to it we'll get back to it as opposed yeah. to just take care of it all at once yes okay so i shook my head at that because i'm like <laughs> this is not safe this is not safe to have just these rocks, uh, loose rocks everywhere. No, there's bad roads yeah, everywhere. Really bad. Really it's bad. Not good. What about you, Samantha? Do you have an I shake my head? Yes. I've decided I cannot be a good passenger in a car. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've decided you're not a good passenger in a car. I am a horrible you're passenger hor- no, You're just horrible. Car horrible. When I'm, when I'm not driving. You're horrible. You are horrible. Okay, shut up. You are. You are. Oh, my mother is probably never going to drive with me again. I don't blame her. Because I was like, what are you doing? And then I critiqued her driving. Because you're such a good driver. Right? And I'm like, well, now I know where I get it from. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It Samantha. was so funny. I am. I'm about, I have to shake my head at myself. I am the worst passenger in a car. I'm going to agree. I'm like so bad. I'm going to agree with you there. <laughs> right? You're not going to have any argument from me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all I got. That's like, that was my big aha moment. Yeah, this shake, week. Yes. Yes. You shake your head at yourself. <laughs> Absolutely, Samantha. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, all right well i think this brings us to the end of the podcast thank you guys for listening we always appreciate it always we want to thank john for john's got some extra, john's got some work this week <laughs> he's gonna have to clean us up this week we apologize uh technical difficulties again apparently apparently we got some issues yeah right guys remember to check out our social media facebook instagram twitter and just remember to download download and subscribe. Absolutely. That's all you got to do. Just download and subscribe. Yeah. All right, Samantha. Anything else? No, I think we're good, Lisa. All right. Always a pleasure. <laughs> it should be. Mm. <laughs> this has been a transmission of the Podfix Network. For more about this show and other great Podfix programs, go to podfixnetwork.com.